No, we have watched over the years as community activist Jamal Cole has inspired Chicagoans on the South Side and beyond to do more to raise up their communities through his nonprofit, My Block, My Hood, My City. Now he is setting his sights on one of Chicago's longest serving and most well-respected public officials, Congressman Bobby Rush. Jamal Cole joins us this morning to talk about his decision to run for Congress. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you all. How y'all doing? Terrific. So we always ask this question on Good Day. Why are you running for Congress? Well, it's a great question. So, you know, I never thought that I would be running for public office. Um, you know, I I grew up, um, I didn't know a food stamp wasn't real money until I put one in a pot machine and it broke. That's how I found out I was on welfare. Um, I started volunteering at Cook County Jail 10 years ago and recognized none of the kids I worked with had ever been downtown. They had never waited for a taxi. So I started a nonprofit organization where now we work with 15 high schools and 200 students a month, and we expose them to things outside their neighborhood. So I'm, I love doing charity. I love shoveling the snow, but now I'm doing reform because I could pass all turkeys on Thanksgiving for the rest of my life, but people are still going to be hungry on the 28th and 29th. I can give out emergency grants to families, small businesses, but people still die of poverty. I could fund peace grants on major holidays to help stop violence, but there's still too many shootings. And, you know, I just talked to a ninth grader that had been at 15 funerals. We need a sense of urgency right now. That's why I'm running for Congress. Well, he, the position you're going for has been held by Bobby Rush for a very, very long time. I mean, basically, he's been a fixture in Washington for nearly 30 years. Why do you think it's a uh, time for a change right now? Well, salute to Congressman Rush. You know, I want to preserve the legacy of people that have paved the way for me. Salute to Congressman Rush. I just feel like right now, man, how come there's 15 currency exchanges in the neighborhoods and no banks? You ask a kid what's a job at a bank, they don't know. How come when the people were looting businesses last summer, um, they were stealing basic toiletries? How come there's more, in the first district, there's more babies being hospitalized because of asthma than almost anywhere else in the state? Those aren't poor people problems, those are policy problems. So I'm running for U.S. Congress to be a partner in federal government for nonprofits like myself and for activists, and that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, and you've talked about this, Jamal. I, I know uh, in recent months, the fact that Washington has done little as far as the ground level to help Chicagoans in our neighborhoods here. So do you, do you have a platform? Are there a couple of issues that you're going to tackle first? For sure, man. Again, like, you know, definitely jobs, you know, economic development, COVID-19, and increasing public safety. You know, all I do is show up for people in Chicago. You know, I showed up in 2009 when I started volunteering at Cook County Jail and working with the young men writing rap lyrics as a form of therapy. Um, as a nonprofit organization, it's so hard to get any federal funding. We're, we're, we're cutting through red tape and we, we're putting our own money up to start programs. Like these kids on the streets aren't getting their guns from Dick Sporting Goods. They're getting them from other states. So we need federal policies in place. We need the federal government to step up and put policies in place to stop this madness. And that's what I'm going to be screaming from Capitol Hill. Well, we know that you do a lot of work out there, but we also know that it takes a lot of money to win a congressional seat. Um, in some cases, $2 million. What do you plan to do to raise the money that you're going to need to really get into this race? We're going to put together a campaign that Congressman Rush has never seen before. With the enthusiasm from our volunteers, the amount of money we're going to raise. You got I raised $2 million on my Instagram page in one day, and I gave that money out to 300 small businesses when they were closing down because of the pandemic. So I'm very creative, and uh, we're, we're also... We're just going to have enthusiasm coming out the first district. So we're going to give Congress a rush, a uh, run for his money. Well, uh, you know, we've known you for quite a while here on Good Day. And I think anybody that knows you knows better than to say Jamal Cole can't do anything that Jamal <laughs> Cole's decided to do. Uh, we you, you, you got a mountain to climb here, my friend, but we wish you luck. And we thank you for uh, sharing your message with us here on Good Day. I appreciate you guys. You have a good day. Call for Congress. All right. I like it. Please. You know, he does. He's very creative with a lot of the things that he does out there. So it'll be interesting to see how his campaign and, comes and out. Do you remember, Anita, way back when he was just shoveling snow off walkways? Yes. We talked to him live that morning. Here he is. This was at the ground level of, of my hood. And, uh, and look where he's. Uh, it's almost like he's our, our kid. I'm so proud of him. I know. I know. I feel the same.